Hang on. Then I'll something, eh? So look at it, I say. Yeah. Is that right, I'll lay you. So to come for man. What did it take away? Okay, what did you know? Loon, yeah. Well, look, I'm done. I'm full of like a Miss Hank. John? John, come on. Well, I come on to you. Hey, how well am I when I'm up? Stay. Don't come on, don't tell me. Don't come on. This is the name. This is the name. This is the name. This is the name. This is You must be very happy. Any man would be happy chatting with a beautiful lady like you. Mr. President, you're exaggerating. Not at all. My father was closer, so he was a polygamist. As you know, I am not. But when I look at you, I envy my father. <laughs> Guess what I got you. Oh, come on, you know I'm not good at guessing. Tell me. Okay. <gasps> so beautiful. Oh my word, look at that. This is so beautiful. <sighs> it must have cost a fortune. Thank God we have a fortune then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful. Thanks, Thomas. <coughs> Coco. Hi. Pink roses. <laughs> Not quite my favorite. Oh, I know. You know. So why would you bring me something that you know I don't like? Oh, you know, we could all use that bit of change sometimes, you know, new ideas, fresh perspective. Ah, so this is where I thank you for your pulls of wisdom the other day and then roll over so you can do what you want. Tom speaks about you too. Do you know why we give each other a bunch of flowers instead of just a single one? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. Well, the ancient Egyptians were the first to arrange flowers into a bouquet. It was kind of like a secret language for them. So you're saying there's a secret message in those flowers now? <laughs> Can you speak an entire language with a single word? No. But... <laughs> Ponzo came running to you, didn't he? Mrs. Mutsay, it's like a language or a bouquet of flowers. See, family is nothing if it does not function as one. Well, uh, thank you for coming, Josephine. <clears throat> I'll just put this over here. Mm. Thank you. 